right, this is our carousel of my pastries. It was hard making them, y'all. It was kind of tough on me making them by scratch. But here they are here. This is the cinnamon sugar twist. It came out big, but it tastes good, y'all. And this is the filled at the top. One of the uh, the pastries that's puffed, and you feel. So what I did is use some blueberry uh, filling from the blueberry dumplings I did, and I stuck it in the middle. And then I got the lemon filled. See, I filled it up with that lemon. Ooh, don't it look good? And I got that in there. And then we have. Oh, that looks so delicious, y'all. Then we got the donuts. Now, I ate all the donut holes, so I'm sorry about that. But here's the donuts. They came out real good. And here are the cinnamon rolls. I made them many, and they taste delicious with all that gooey, ewey, and, and raisins. This is my current sale of pastry. And I'll show you how I do this after this presentation of my uh, pantry carousel. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for watching my channel. Those two is my favorite, y'all. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe and this recipe is what I call my carousel of donuts. A carousel of pastries. We're going to do some donuts. We're going to do some stuffed donuts. Lemon stuffed donuts. We're going to do some uh cinnamon sugar twists and we're going to do some cinnamon rolls yes indeed this is what we're going to do this might be a lengthy video and you might not want to look at everything but you might want to stay tuned and see how we make these fresh homemade pastries so what we're going to do first my uh mixer here we're going to put four and a half cups of flour we're going to put a half a cup of sugar we're going to have uh, one egg. Uh-uh, let's drop, drop the eggshell in, y'all. This is a regular kitchen. We're going to have a half a cup, one and a half a cup of milk. One and a half cup of milk. We're going to have uh, a teaspoon of yeast. And we're going to do this like this. And whip it together. Well, first we're gonna have to blend it together, y'all. We're gonna have to blend it together and make sure that it's blended instead of we do it like that. We're gonna blend this together. Make sure it's all incorporated first. We got the yeast, we got the flour, the sugar, and we're just gonna blend it like this so it can have a head start of getting together with this uh dough. Okay, that's, I think that's good enough right there. Yeah, that's good enough right there. Let's blend it together. Just get it kind of wet together. Make sure it's in there like that, okay? There you go. Now, I'm going to put this down. And we're going to blend it like this until it gets kind of populated. Yes, these donuts gonna be so good, y'all. Y'all gonna say, oh, she gave us some donut recipe. Yes, indeed, I did. Okay, we'll get this all blended together like this. Like this. And we'll be right back when we finish doing this. All right, now, it's all blended a little bit. Let's see, the dough is together. So we're gonna add a stick of butter. Just like this little at a time. Add the butter in there like that. That's a stick of butter, y'all. Make sure it's kneaded together. Just like that. Just a little at a time. So we get all incorporated. And 
add some more. Add some more. And I'll get separated, y'all. Getting this dough ready for this hatred carousel that I'm calling. We're getting all the butter and all the uh, ingredients together. It's gonna take a little while. Get them all together, and we'll be right back. All right, what we're gonna do is add the salt. We're gonna add the salt. That's um, one and a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna let it get incorporated, then we're gonna let it sit for a second. We're gonna take this out and let you see what it looks like. All right, we're gonna take the dough out. It's like this. It's already kneaded and everything, so we need to take it out just like this. And we're going to make it into a ball. We're going to move this over. We're going to make it into a ball, and we're going to put it in this grease bowl. Make it to a ball. We're going to have to let this sit for a minute or two so it can rise. It's got to double itself. And what it's going to take about at least I don't recall, but I know it's going to take longer than one hour. And we're going to put some saran wrap on it. And we're going to keep it on this light so that it can rise double. Just like that. And we'll be right back and let you see what that looks like when we um, get ready to do these donuts. And this pastry uh, carousel. I'm going to let that sit on this light and let it rise double its side and then we'll be ready to do our uh, second phase of our carousel pastries. And our dough have double in size and we're going to take it out and we'll put it on the pan like on the board like this and double the sides smells good so we're going to put on the flour board and we got others to do we got to let this uh, rise I mean it's rise but we're going to have to let it rise again yeah, we're going to have to let that rise again. So what we're going to do is um, cut it in sections. The sections we're going to cut it in. We're going to roll it out in sections. It's like this. Because we're going to do some for donuts and we're going to do some for uh, the puff pastry with the filling in. So what we're going to do is get a board like this and we're going to cut some of this in half. Okay. We're going to cut Say so how many donuts we want. We're going to want at least four donuts. Don't you think we need at least four donuts, y'all? Four of them. Okay, I think we need four donuts, don't you think? Four of you plenty, don't you? think four of you plenty? Okay, I'm looking for my little spatula. I mean my little donut cutter. 
this is it right here. So I'm going to cut this here. Cut that. So I'm going to leave four donuts, okay? Then we're going to put a little top in the middle. Make a little hole for the donuts. Ooh. Okay, this is one. Keep the little donut hole. And then here's another one. A donut hole. And this got to rise. Again. Okay, that's a donut hole. Right there. Another donut. This one right there, and this right here. Got enough donuts, y'all. Just only four donuts. Donut hole, donut right hole right there. So we're gonna let these rise again because they have to rise in order for us to fry them. So we're going to make sure that one is round, like that, yeah, there you go, we'll let these rise, and these are four with the donut holes, and we're going to let those rise to the occasion, to the side here, so what we're going to do is do one and we're going to make a twist so what I'm going <clears> to <throat> do put this aside and make some twists roll it Pan. A little pan. I'm going to cut these in the middle. Just like that. And we're going to twist it. Plat it like that, plat it like that, and make a twist, like that. One twist is enough, don't y'all think? Or should we make two? One twist is enough. That's a twist right there. And we're going to make some stuff ones. So what we're going to do is just square this off. Maybe like that. Okay, we'll make this back. Let's see, we're going to do it like this, y'all. We're going to roll it up. Roll it. Let's see if I got it right. I'm going to roll it. Put it on the plate. Roll it. Depends on how big you want. Let's see, we did this not too good, y'all. Let's do it again. Like that. Yeah. We got it. Okay. 
Okay. Make sure it's smooth. And we're going to leave it like that. So we're going to stuff that. Then we're going to do the cinnamon roll. We're going to do one of those. And maybe a round one. Like this. And this has to rise again, y'all. So we're going to make another one. We're going to make a one that's short. That's going to be a long one. And this is going to be a short one. Make sure it's all even. Like that. This is going to be a long one. Short one. This is going to be a long one. Let's look at these lines out. So let's puff up. Okay, we're gonna stuff that. And this is gonna be the cinnamon roll. So what we're gonna do with the cinnamon roll is just gonna do like this. Cut this off. The cinnamon roll like this. And let it proof too. I'm going to leave it on the counter and it proof. And we're going to make another and hold it. Make another stuffed donut too. Donut just like this. So I'm going to stuff it. stay there. I'm going to let this stuff too. And it's going to take about, I believe, another two hours probably. We got the twist. We got the donuts. And we've got the stuff right here and a lot of stuff right here too. So this is what we got right now. So bear with me till we get it all done. We got to let them all proof and rise again, and we will start working on our donuts, okay? All right, what we're going to do is do our cinnamon rolls first because the cinnamon rolls need to proof a little bit and rise. So what we're going to do is get some butter, and we're going to spread it all over the cinnamon rolls just like this. A lot of people don't use butter. I guess because um, it's good. <laughs> no, because it's, I don't know. People don't lose butter because they don't want to, I guess. But I use it, so I'm sure y'all use it too. So you get some butter and you spread it all over just like this. Okay, we're going to make a little simple cinnamon rolls. And like the ones that don't like butter, you can use a margarine it'll be good so we just uh, spread it all over like this and then we're gonna add the brown sugar just like this we're just gonna get these ready because they got to proof a little bit before they get in the oven so we're gonna spread this all out like that and you put as much sugar you want on it whatever you desire okay and then we're going to add some cinnamon because they are cinnamon rolls just a little cinnamon like that hope y'all in the camera okay cinnamon rolls have to have cinnamon on it now you could add pecans if you want but we are not putting pecans in it so we're going to put raisins Nothing like a cinnamon roll with raisins. A lot of raisins, y'all. Okay, we're going to put a lot of raisins. <clears throat> okay, and we're going to roll it up. So make sure they're all even. 
We're going to roll it just like this. Roll it in the rolls. Just like that. And then we're going to cut them. Cut these ends off. And we're going to cut them about that big around. I'm going to place them in this oil pan. Oh, they're oozing off, y'all, already. Place them in this pan. Woo, I ain't cut them. I'm making a mess, y'all. Okay. That one to do right, so we're going to cut this. That from the top side up, and this one I'll be up by two. I'm just gonna put two like that, not four. And we're gonna let them rise. And this one right here, I don't know what happened to it, but we're just gonna put it to the side and we'll probably make it with another one. I got some more over here. I'm gonna put these to the side and let them proof a little bit. Let's see, I might just go ahead and put this one like that. I have another one here that we could do the same thing with. Mold them out a little bit. Do the same procedure. I am not a professional baker, but I can make stuff taste good, y'all. Some more butter. Okay, and some more cinnamon, I mean sugar, fried sugar, and some more raisins, we got some raisins and cinnamon right here, we can just throw that on, I don't use all the raisins, just throw them in there like that, okay, and we're going to roll, let's see, let's some cinnamon in there, we're going to roll this, Cut it. Sit it in there like that. Sit that one in there like that. And we're gonna let these rise a little bit. And we're gonna put them in the oven. Now this right here could be just any little thing here, y'all. Just any little old thing right there that could be. Okay. That's what that could be. Okay. Now we're gonna let these proof a little bit over here and we'll put those in the oven. We're gonna clean all this up. And it's about time to fry our donuts. They done puffed up a little bit and I'm gonna clean up and we'll be right back and fry our donuts. Okay? Okay, before we make our donuts, we gotta make our glaze and it's just only sugar and water and a little salt. That's all it is. I'll put a little vanilla in it, and that's about it, y'all. A little vanilla, give it a little flavor, and we're going to stir this up real nice because all we need is water and powdered sugar and vanilla to make the glaze. That's all. And we're going to get ready to fry our donuts. They done puffed up a little bit. And we're going to do them and let you see what they look like. And this video is just a video just to do something so y'all can look at something to do. Look at, you know. And so, we're getting this all together. Here. See, that's going to look just like that. And you're gonna, just going to pull the glaze on, but you want to make sure the glaze is all blended up. So there won't be no lumps on your donuts. Okay, just like this. Okay, make it smooth and creamy. Okay, just like this. And we're going to need this rack to put our donuts on so they can uh, drain off real good. Okay. Okay, we're going to get ready to do it. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. 
and we're going to place one of our donuts into the oil. Just like that. Place another one to the oil like that and how they puff up. That's a good sign that they are ready, y'all. They are doing their job. We're going to let them kind of float around. Get that little crust on them. Turn them over a little bit, just a little bit longer. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's a good side. That's a good color. Turn that over. And turn that one over. Oh, they look good. The donuts holes can go in there now. Are oh, those in there? Okay. That's about ready on that side. Oh, they look good, y'all. Look at that. They kind of crooked, but they look good. We're going to take them off. Put them over here. Wow, they look good. Okay, we're going to put two more in. Okay, some of the holes look like they want to get out the hot bath. And we're going to pull this on top while it's they hot like that they glaze on it just like that now or you can do it like this you can dump them in the glaze turn it over and do it like that i want them to burn too quickly turn them over for a second now we can do it twice they look good y'all so that the doors holes are ready them out. Not really. Turn these over. Oh, they're beautiful, y'all. Okay. I'm going to dump these again. Dump them again. Let's see, show y'all how to dump them again. Put them over like that. Again, put them over like that. These are ready. Not quite. This is the donut hole. Mmm. It tastes good. Okay, we'll dump this again. How do you want the glaze? Um, I like that. Mmm. This is ready. Side. Now we're going to do our twist. Put it in there. Do these donuts like that. Hot. While they hot, they will stick to the, the glaze. Wow, they taste good, y'all. Okay. Put a little glaze on this donut. That's what it tastes like. Well, that's our twist right there, y'all. Mmm. Don't know this. Really good. I'm going to let this um, twist get brown. Looking good, y'all. Now the twist is gonna be different from the donuts. So what we're gonna do is put the donuts in a different plate. They look fabulous, look at that. Ooh, they look good. I might dump that again. Oh, that looks good. That again. Let it drain. I'll see what our twist looks like. Well, our twist is going to be pretty. Let's turn it over. What our twist going to look like. Ooh. There we go. Twist looking good, y'all. I'm going to put these donuts over here. 
I'm gonna eat the donut holes, y'all. They look, taste so good. <laughs> mm. My twist. I'm gonna make this one. I'm just gonna dry a little bit. I'm just gonna put this last one. Twist. I'm a big twist. It's okay. I'm just learning how to do it. Mm. No one holds the stone. I'm gonna take this plate. I'm gonna do that glaze or something else. Okay, we're gonna take a twist out. I didn't twist it tight enough. That's okay. Ooh. Let me get it out. Okay, now, while it's hot, that's a big twist. We're gonna dust it with sugar. Brown sugar. I mean, not brown sugar, sugar and cinnamon. On the side, this side of you to do it, y'all. Oh, that tastes smells so good. The brown sugar. I didn't do them perfect, y'all, but they look all right. That's a twist with the brown sugar. I'm going to put it back down in there like that. Make sure they get all that sh on there like that. That sugar goes on that. And the milk on there. Ooh, that's so good. Now that's the twist right there, y'all. It's a big twist. Now, what we're gonna do now is do the one we're gonna stuff. Put that in there. Let's see what that's gonna do. And the stuffing, we have to stuff it with a different, like lemon. We're gonna use a lemon. Now, this cleaned up, y'all. Stuff it with lemon. What it's doing. Okay, our twist is done. Our donuts are done. I'm going to try to see if it's ready to turn over yet. Yeah, it's ready to turn over. Okay. Okay, and we're going to. Let that cool a little bit. We're going to stuff it with some lemon. Look at that. That's going to be so nice, y'all. Some lemon stuck in there. <laughs> okay, we're going to let it get puffy. And we're going to do the other one. Okay, let that plate back. And put this back in there. glaze and go back in. Put this back underneath there. Like that. Okay, that's ready to come out. I want to feel that. Then we're going to do this other one. The long one. <laughs> we got through, y'all. Okay, we're going to stuff this with lemon flavor. This lemon right here, this lemon pie filling. We'll stuff this with that. And see when we come back. Okay, what we're going to do now is stuff this and we get the right end. I didn't do it correctly, y'all. Let's try this one here. We're going to stick it all the way in like that. That one didn't do the way we wanted it. And we're going to use this uh, two, and we're going to stuff it in between there while well, it's still hot. We're going to push all the filling inside there, just like this. See how that filling going in there like that? It's going to crooked. We're going to stick it all the way in that, like that. Like that. That's going to be all the way in there. We're going to turn it around and we're going to add the 
glaze on top of it. Just like that. I'm going to add glaze on top of this one so it could be a, a artificial looking donut. And we're just going to glaze it all up like this. And that's it right there, y'all. That's it right there. That's our donuts. What you call my pastry carousel. There's the donuts right here. And the stuff, uh, fruit pastry here. And we got our cinnamon rolls in the oven and we'll be right back. All right, our pastries are ready. Our cinnamon rolls are ready. So what I'm going to do is pour the icing, the glaze on top of them while they look warm. So they can get that little groove going on. Okay. These are some of the cinnamon rolls that I made before. And these turn out better than the ones I've done before. I think. I don't know, but they look really good. They look good and I like the texture of them. Now I went ahead and made excuse me for dropping it, y'all. I went ahead and made this one with the blueberry uh feeling that I had over from the blueberry dumpling. I just stuck it in the middle and put the uh blueberry sauce in the middle. And then this got the lemon and this is the regular glaze here, y'all. The regular glaze. And this is the cinnamon twist with the sugar and the cinnamon. These look perfect, y'all. They look good. It was hard making them. But they turned out to be what I wanted them to be. And these cinnamon rolls are too. Let's just see what the cinnamon roll look like. The cinnamon roll turned out to be good as well. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that cinnamon roll look good, though. They, they many. They small. I didn't make them big. I'm going to let them cool off and I did a little presentation of them when I finish. But they look gorgeous, especially this one right here, y'all. Look at that coming out of there. Ooh, oh, that look good. That look good. And and the donuts and the cinnamon twists. We got something going on here, y'all. We have a, a, what you call a pastry car sale going on.